So I made this email ID in Hina underscore Khan 2006. <laughs> so I used it for 10 years and everybody used to say, why 2006, yeah? And you don't change it like 2007, 8. I said, yeah, this is my email ID. I made it in 2000, 2006. I can't help it. So I used to get a little embarrassed. Yeah. Last to last birthday when a fan uh, gifted me her first paycheck. That was quite a moment and I was moved, I like I was literally in tears. Hi, this is Hina Khan, hacked by Pop Diaries. Um, I think one uh, very, very uh, similar thing which I find in Sam and Hina is that Sam is very strong mentally. Uh, she might get devastated in between, but she has the courage and strength and she fights it back. So I think that's very, very important, rather just getting down into this dark hole and never coming out of it. So that's one very big similarity in between Sam and Hina. None. I've been asked this question many a times and I've always said that, I am not interested, dude. I don't want to know what is happening in your life. How would I describe Hagged in three words? Entertaining, uh, a lot of learning, women empowerment. I think as far as trollers are concerned, I, um, I, <laughs> I don't do anything about them. They have every, every right to write whatever they want to. So I really don't, it really doesn't bother me anymore. Initially it used to. So I'm absolutely okay. Please do whatever you wish to. As far as hackers are concerned, I, I do get messages every now and then, every second, third day that my Instagram is, uh, someone's trying to hack my Instagram or someone's trying, trying to hack my Twitter. So it happens very, very often. So um, I do nothing about it. I'm like, okay, I'll wait for the day you win. <laughs> what can I do about it? Tell me, I can't. Uh, yeah, one, one thing I would like to tell people like, uh, you know, we as actor, we have certain um, commitments. Whenever maybe something's happening in the world or something's happening in the country or something really sensitive is happening or uh, we don't get the time to react on it or maybe we tweet about it. But then at the same time, when we tweet about it and we feel concerned about it and then goes a happy post or a video on our Instagram where we are talking about a beauty product or we are talking about a hair color or anything and suddenly we'll have this, these trolls down on our, in our comment section who would say, what the hell is wrong with you? You don't understand the sensitivity. How can you be so insensitive? You are talking about your hair color? You're concerned about your hair color? You're concerned about how good you look? You're talking about makeup? But they don't understand, yeah? We have commitments. We uh, associate with a brand. It can be anything. Our posts are not necessarily, uh, you know, we think and we post that particular moment. It is planned. That this particular day, at this particular time, Hina Khan is going to post this for this brand because that's the commitment. But people don't understand this and react and troll. I think this is very, very wrong of them. Many a times we make stories we don't want to. But then if we have a prior commitment and we didn't know something like that would happen, anything, in, anything so, anything could have happened. But then yeah, we get trolled. I think you should understand this. <laughs> I had one. I think I don't use it anymore. I think we're in 2020 now. So I made this email ID in Hina underscore Khan 2006. <laughs> so I used it for 10 years and everybody used to say, why 2006, yeah? And you don't change it like 2007, 8. I said, yeah, this is my email ID. I made it in 2000, 2006. I can't help it. So I used to get a little embarrassed. I think I should remove 2006 from it. But then it was my oldest email. I didn't eventually, I don't have it now. But yeah, I used to get a little embarrassed. I think a funny Instagram. Yep. No, I am. I am somebody who would, if it's random, it's random. I mean, sometimes my selfies would not even have a filter. 
I often post pictures on my story, Instagram story, where I just add hashtag no filter. So I do not filter it. Like I do not add any filter to it. I do not edit it at all. So it's very random. It's okay. It's okay to look bad some days, right? How many times don't ask? Don't ask. I have to send a text to someone else. I send it to some other like if for a random random name I'm taking, I have to send a text to Akash. I will send it to some other Akash. Like if I have 10 Akashes in my contact list, it will go to some other Akash. It is so embarrassing. So many times people have read my texts and people are like, what the hell? What are you asking us? And Thank God, like most of the times we use WhatsApp now and WhatsApp has this option of deleting it and the other person cannot see it anymore. That's the best thing ever which could happen, at least to a person like me. No, no, I hardly have, I have like a handful of friends, so uh, no. Prank call. I would do it uh, with someone um, I have met, like uh, maybe a couple of times, any actor or anybody and then we haven't spoken on phone. So I would call and uh, you know, uh, behave like somebody else, I'm your fan, I'm this, could you please talk to me, I want to meet you, just to embarrass and bully that person. Swap life, none, I'm happy with mine, I wouldn't. You never know. Don't go. Don't don't just look at the happier side. Everyone has a story. I'm happy with mine. I think when once I'm uh, once I'll be done from here if today as well. I would just not think about it. And when I go home, I spend time with my family. I immediately uh, start having a meal with them. Uh, strike a conversation. Watch something. Uh, on Netflix and watch a good film and just forget about the rest. So I think it's it's very important to unwind. So it's 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 very important. Yeah, I do it. I really do it. I do not think about work at all. Many. I really can't name one. Yeah, I have many. Like Dior. I like Gucci. I like Fendi. I like. Fendi glares a lot and then many other brands, many other brands. I have makeup brands, for, for footwear I have different brands, so it depends what I'm buying. If I have to buy a footwear, I would go to certain brands. If I have to buy makeup, I would go to certain brands. I don't have a one fixed brand. That can't happen because uh, so Thank God, touch would have been lucky enough. So, other than that, Komolika moment. I don't think so. Komolika to Machadi ke saath sab ulta hi hota tha. Favorite fan encounter. I think um, on my last to last birthday, when a fan uh, gifted me her first paycheck. That was quite a moment. I was moved. I like. I was li literally in tears. Like, gifting me. Usually, you gift your first paycheck to your family. She sent. She couriered her first paycheck to me to my, on my address. I was like, what do I do with it? And I told my father, figure out her address and send it back. <laughs> Sorry, it's gone now. I can't choose one. I love all my characters. I, I really can't pick and choose. No. Funny, I think this Maggie eating like this, this father-daughter duo used to eat Maggie and I used to feel so jealous uh, because I was on a very strict diet that time for, for a certain song which would be out very soon. So I I used to be very jealous and they used to like literally laugh and I yeah, thoda sa Maggie kha lo, kya ho jayega? but I never used to have it. Alright, so Hagged uh, guys, uh, since you know it's a story of Samira Khanna and uh, um, her stalker Vivek, it's a stalker thriller and um, it's going to release on 7th Feb 2020 uh, in the theatres near you. Uh, please go watch the film, um, it will entertain you at the same time you'll take a lot of learning back home with you. So and especially to all the women out there, as a woman I would really really like to 
uh, request you that please go and watch the film.